Well, we used to work at a bar called Grandma B's in Northeast Minneapolis in Minnesota. And it was myself, Rick Rude, uh, both the Road Warriors, and then there was a few other guys after that. We all worked at that bar. And we were all power lifting and training and you know in good shape and everything. And we used to throw guys out the front door of the bar. Out of all that gang that you worked at Grandma B's with, who would you say was the toughest? Out of us four? The, the bouncers that turned into wrestlers. Uh, probably Rick Rude was probably the toughest out of our bunch. And because he wasn't scared of nothing. It was, you know, uh, all of us other guys, we might have been tougher, I don't know. But, you know, I wasn't a fighter, Animal wasn't a fighter, but, you know, if somebody wanted to fight you, you fought. Right. But Rick was a different kind of a guy. He was almost like a pit bull, you know. The nicest guy, I mean, he would do anything for you. But boy, you crossed him, he'd be the first one to throw the punch and he'd do everything he could to win, you know. Just, uh, he was just one of those guys. And there's always one of those guys that's your friend that just, you know, he's the pit bull of the group, you know. Is it true that there was once an incident backstage with him in the Ultimate Warrior where he kind of snapped off on the Ultimate Warrior? He did, a, he did it with a couple of different people. You know, Rick was, uh, Rick's a very honorable guy. You know, you, you know, in wrestling, you know, he, he'd take care of you, expect you to take care of him. And, and he wanted to have the best match of the night. And that's kind of how all of us guys from Robbinsdale were. It was, you wanted to steal the show. And if something wasn't your way, I mean, you'd get upset about it. And uh, I don't know what the whole story was, but uh, it's probably one of those incidences where the warrior probably nailed him a few times in the ring. And, uh, you know, Rick wanted to have the good match, so he didn't take it out on him in the ring. And then he came back in the dressing room and, you know, set him straight. You know, he did that with a few people too. 